PSD with you. Tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. Right, we're having a look at Homura. Uh, it's built as a Lutris for FreeBSD. And you see there's plenty of options on this uh, single window from installation to launcher and wine trick, etc. But we'll first have a quick look at the about. It's inspired by Lutris. Omura is a launcher that makes it easy to run Windows games and launch it with just one click. So we'll see if it works. First thing we need to do is we'll actually uh, click on the installation because we want to make an install. And we're going to choose Steam. You can see there's Origin, Uplay, there's, there's lots. Some of these I haven't got accounts with, so I'll be able to test them. But with Steam, I can definitely test. And you see it's downloading. And it's configuring wine. I think for every time you choose a new install, it puts a new uh, separate installation of wine, I think. So it keeps it all, you know, it can then tweak and configure each uh, wine install for that particular application, which I think is pretty cool. It separates them all out. What might work for one, not necessarily will work for another. So it's set in as Windows XP for compatibility reasons, I think. And I've installed um, Wine before and then Steam, so it, you know, I know I know it works quite well on, on Wine. But uh, doing it this way, okay, we'll see how it works. Microsoft.net. One thing which I like about this is that it, autom it automates uh, pretty much every step you need. Okay, that's that. And welcome to Steam Setup. Choose the language, which will be English, of course, for me. And go for the various steps. I'm sure that if you've used Steam before, you know what all these are entailing. But now that it's done, there we go. It's your average uh, Steam install on Wine. Zoom in a little bit more so we can see. I'm going to test um, most of these games on here, by the way. I'm, I'm not mine, they're my wife's. But um, she does like a puzzle game. Well, we're going to test one or two. Um, let's have a look. Oh yeah, Bejeweled 3, we'll test that. I've tested that out before in a previous video looking at uh, gaming on FreeBSD. But we'll test this one out. Because I know for sure it works, and it works well. I don't expect any different under this, uh, this way of doing it. Okay. It's fairly quick to uh, install. And let's play it. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna work perfectly. I've disabled the sound because I don't want to be uh, I don't want to be playing any music. I know you can disable the music, but I'll just get, I'll I'll just mute it for now. Right, let's play it, and we'll go for classic. And yeah, let's just start game. There you go. It's your uh, typical Connect Three shapes. One thing I like about Bejeweled is it's quite a polished game. And for those people who can actually play it better than me, which practically nearly everybody, they uh, it, it's quite a rewarding game with plenty of uh, animation, plenty of sound effects, and just generally a good. Uh, it's just a generally really good game. I like it. I like Bejewel 3. It's been far too long playing it, though. So anyway, there's that one done. So we'll have a look at another one. We'll have a look at um, Brick Breaker. Yeah, Brick Breaker. 
which is a uh, not an arkanoid, but it's it's just a simple bat and ball game against bricks. I don't think it's as sophisticated as Arkanoid. For those uh, old enough to remember Arkanoid, used to love that game. Played it so much on my Spectrum and uh, Amiga. Unbelievable. So we'll try it and. Is it going to start up? Yeah. Just a bit delayed, but it works fine. Single player. Okay. Yeah, bat and ball game. And unfortunately, playing this, it, um, it went on a, a very low angle trajectory and hit the brick and came back down in an equally low angle. And yeah. Except which that I. Uh, now we can get going. Bing, 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 bing. It's your usual bat and ball game, really. It's, um, I find the background a bit distracting. But anyway, okay. Well, that's enough of that. So that seemed to work. So it's two out of two so far. Very good. I could try armor, but I know that probably won't work. Seven days to die never worked before. Doodle Goblets. Ah, you're, yeah, Doodle Goblets. We'll try that. Let's put that in a window so we can see what's going on. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just going to uh, click it. Maybe I should have gone for the other ones, but... We'll see how this goes. It was uh, very good. Yes, 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 yes. Lots of animation. But I'm still not quite sure what you do. Find the elements. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, you know. This is probably all very good. And, um, yeah, I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. So we'll leave that. We'll just come out of it. Yeah, so I have no idea what I'm doing, so uh, we'll leave it. But anyway, that one works, so it's um, three for three. Euro Truck Simulator. I know that works definitely on uh, a normal, in oh, I say, a normal installation, a regular installation of uh, Wine and Steam. So again, I shouldn't expect any difficulties here. But I must say that this really does... I, I'm so far I'm impressed by this uh, Homura. It, it does... It does take some of the effort out of um, configuring wine and going into it and, and just, just generally try and test in uh, various settings to get the games going. And we're still at an early stage of it, so there's plenty of room for improvement and additional features, but it's looking good so far. Uh, Euro truck. That's not what I look like, by the way. Although my hair is starting to go grey and white. Huh. Uh, I forgot what to do. Oh, yes. Uh, continue again. Loads of loading screens. Okay. Uh, click, click, click. I'll close that off. Right, hopefully we'll get into it. Right. Fantastic. It's been a while since I played this. I can't remember what I was doing. I think I'm delivering steel. No, am I not? Am I pulling a regular truck? Oh, it could be steel. But anyway, I got made a delivery and uh, I'm going to follow the sat-nav. I'm the probably the world's uh, I'm probably the world's worst driver, so uh, yeah, both in real life and uh, virtually. 
Ah, oh, we don't bother. We need to stop and look right. Tally ho. Let's go full speed. Diddly -diddly. For once, the lights are green, so let's go through them. Not that it stopped me before. <laughs> In game only, that is. Ooh, let's go up here. That looks interesting. Little hill. I've never tested it off road in this game before, so we'll see how it works. Yeah, we'll go up this little straight bit up here. Woohoo! Yup. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Well, that worked well. I mean, that actually runs nice and smooth. I'm impressed by that, even though I can't play it and my driving is terrible. So what was that, 4 for 4? I can't remember. And we're going to try Tasty Planet now. Tasty Planet is a game which my wife absolutely, uh, she loves. It's, um, I can't play it whatsoever. Not that I can play many of these games, but I can't play this. For those who are familiar with it, I, you know, it involves a, um, I don't know, a creature that has to go around the screen. And the more it eats, the bigger it gets. Could be a planet, I don't know. Or a germ, or an amoeba. But anyway, the more it eats, the bigger it gets. Do that again. <laughs> so I'll take it these are bacteria. Yeah, it's getting bigger. Do you know, it, it's a simple gaming concept. It's a bit like the, the uh, classic... A caterpillar or a worm game where you know you eat the dots and you get longer and you've got to avoid crashing into your own tail but it's a similar kind of simple concept do you know it's surprisingly difficult all right very good that works nicely okay well i'm impressed so far Again, so it's only early days, and the, you know the incompatibilities are still there a little bit. You know, you're relying on wine, and but this whole more it, it brings it together. I'm gonna try Pac-Man two five six. Um, we'll see if this works. Hmm. No, it's not gonna work. Oh, wait a minute. No. No. Okay, that's fine. I was bound to get one which didn't work, but so far so good. I mean, it is, uh, it's, it's been really good so far. Okay, we'll come out of Steam. And we'll try something else. Okay. Um, Blizzard, Origin, you play. I think I've got um, an Origin Online account. See, many of these things. We'll try Wargaming because I have uh, got a world of tanks. We'll see if this works. Again, look, you see, because I've chosen uh, a, a new installation of a, of a different loader, it's, it's uh, putting a separate wine install. Visual C++. Okay, I'll agree to that. That was quick. Ah, I see this one's using Windows 7 compatibility. Right, English. There we go. Looking good so far. Ooh, might have a game of uh, tanks in a minute. 
Ah. Yeah, and what you can't see is on the other screen, uh, a little window's popped up, and as soon as you try and activate anything on it, it uh, stops running. So I don't think we're going to get World of Tanks or Wargaming.net up. Which is a shame. But, I mean, saying that, it certainly... It got further than it's ever done before, so I think uh, it's on the right track. Hmm... Okay, we'll try something else. We'll try the launch part and see if that makes a... Uh, makes a difference on that. Well, that didn't work either, so... Um, okay, we're going to forget about that one. So, so far, really, it's, it's Steam that works the best. As I kind of... I kind of had an inkling that that was going to be the case. I mean, Steam has... It's got a larger following and... Uh, yeah... I think there's more people working on getting Steam working on wine than there is any of the others, but we'll see. We'll try some more. Blizzard, I ain't got an account. Origin, I think I have. We'll try Blizzard anyway. Again, it goes through the separate installation. Well, it seems to be doing it. I haven't got a Blizzard account, so I can't test this. Uh, whether or not you do, and you've got an account, and it, and it progresses beyond this point, I, I can't. I don't know. If we're lucky, we'll get to a load-in screen. Oh, there's one there. Okay. Oh, it's just an install screen. Okay. Right. Right, okay. We're at the login screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, like I say, I can't. I, I haven't got a Blizzard account, so I can't test this. But you know, it looks promising. So if you have uh, a Blizzard account and you want to play a bit of uh, World of Warcraft, etc., it's very much. Uh, this might be the thing for you. Very good. But there's no guarantee. Obviously, I can't test it. So, but it does look promising. That went fairly smoothly and um, relatively fast. Okie dokie, back to the uh, menu again. Install, and this time, choose Origin. I have an Origin account, although most of my um, most of my games are on the PS4. I really haven't got any um, any games on the PC, so I think my Origin. Uh, Little interface thing, and my bomb is going to be empty. Don't forget to disable the origin in game overlay. Okay. Very helpful. Okay, we're doing uh, this little installer. Let's say install, I think, on this. Popping up everywhere. We'll see how this goes. Here we are at close up of the Origin uh, login screen. But yeah, it seems to look all right. It seems to be working. So um, I have a Origin account. Again, there'll be nothing on it. But I'll log in just to see, uh, just to show it working. Right. Okay. So this is it. This is. Um, the EA Origins um, game management thingamabob. you got all your options. This is the only thing I can do because I've got no games to show you and I can't start no games up. But it seems to be working fine functionally. 
Uh, those are people who use um, this will better tell you if anything looks all right. I think it does. I'm not sure. So it's looking, uh, no game should display, you see. It's looking good. So this one looks like a, a success. The... Yeah. Okay. Add game. We have no games to add, so that's fine. Well, we'll just come out of this now because there's no point in uh, messing around with it. But yeah. Okay, this looks a success. So Steam was a, a success. Um, Wargaming, not so much. Blizzard seems to work. And Origin seems to work. So not bad. On that list, though, I would like to see if they put um, a way to get Star Trek Online going. That would be nice. On the actual Homura website, there is a good list of um, things that work and things that don't or things that need to be done. So if you've got anything that you want to be installed or you're having trouble, just check that out. I want to thank Buster Brown, uh, a brilliant subscriber on uh, my channel. He um, He's always on the lookout for new FreeBSD content and he drops me emails from time to time point him into new content that he's seen and uh, ask uh, can I do a video on it so yeah well thank you Buster keep them coming my friend so what are my thoughts on Humura I think it's a fantastic uh, idea I mean, to bring together the convenience which uh, f f Linux users enjoy with Lutris into the free BSD um, environment is a brilliant is a brilliant aim I think to a certain extent is is achieving that it's work in progress, of course. Everything always usually is, and and uh, we still have very the early version. But yeah, if you can just have one one program that lets you seamlessly interact with all the other game launchers um, without having to sort of like do separate pro, it is 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 wonderful. And the 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 developer Alexander um, is to be commended on this. I mean, yes, you know, Wines worked for a long time on FreeBSD, and you know, I've, I've shown uh, loading up Steam and playing some games, and, and it works brilliantly. But he kind of, he's making it almost seamless, and using a relatively simple idea, he's managing to knit them all together. So, yeah. Um, as the introduction on his page says, you know, inspired by Lutris, we would like to provide a game launcher to play Windows games on FreeBSD, and he's achieving that. I'll leave a link in the description below to um, to his GitHub page and everything that you need uh, to get it going on your FreeBSD box is there. You know, I, I, I don't think it's going to be long before we see that in the actual, uh, in the ports or the package tree really in FreeBSD. So he is achieving his goals and that one is to bring the ease of use of Lutris to FreeBSD. Brilliant. I like it. And he is developing it quite quickly as well. And he, even on uh, the release cycle of Humura, it says uh, new features get released uh, in a week or in five days. If an existing feature needs a fix, then they'll release that fix uh, as soon as possible. So it, it's, um, it is getting updated. It is an ongoing project. So fair play to them and good luck. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this small look. And um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.